Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my get unready with me. I've done quite a few get ready with me's where we put on makeup and chit chat and hang out, which is so much fun. But my favorite thing to do is get unready, take off all my makeup and just focus on skincare. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna dive into skincare. I'm gonna show you my nighttime skincare routine, also how I shave my face and how I gua sha. So I'm excited for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you. I make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And all of the products I talk about today will be linked down below if you are interested in them. With all of that said, let's get into the video. So I do have a full face of makeup on right now and I cannot wait to take it off. So I'm going to put my hair up first so it's not in the way. I don't wear makeup every single day. It's honestly not my most favorite thing to have on my face. Like I love getting ready, but I also can kind of feel like claustrophobic by makeup somehow. So I try not to wear it for too long and definitely not every day. The first thing that I do in my nightly skincare is the first part of a double cleanse. I swear by double cleansing because it just makes sure that you are really getting everything off of your skin and really cleaning your skin. So the first part of my double cleanse is using the Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm from the brand Vanillico. This is amazing. Obviously such cute packaging and there's a lot of product in here, which I can appreciate. But besides all of that, the product itself is really, really, a game changer. It's kind of like a three-in-one product and the way that it starts out kind of like a balm and then it melts into an oil and then when you wash it off it turns white, kind of almost soap-like. It's very interesting. So it does come with a topper with a little spatula for hygienic purposes, which I love. So the first thing you're going to do is scoop up a little bit of product and that's what it looks like and then you're just going to place it on the back of your hand like so and then you're just going to rub it into the skin to kind of get it warm and you can see it change into an oil you want to apply this to a dry face you don't want to use water just yet you really want to work it into the skin and let it melt away all of the makeup before you add any water and this melts away lip products this melts away eyeliner this melts away mascara foundation concealer it melts everything away. It also lifts away grime and dirt, and it really gets your skin prepared for the next step of the double cleanse. So the next product that I use, which is the second step of the double cleanse, is the Paula's Choice Perfectly Balanced Foaming Cleanser. I love this face wash so much because I feel like it really cleans my skin, but it doesn't leave it dry. It leaves it feeling very hydrated. And I think that's because this has hyaluronic acid in it, which is very moisturizing and plumping for the skin, which I can appreciate as I get a little bit older. It says it's for normal or oily combination skin. I should have mentioned that I do have combo skin. I can be oily in the center of my face, but I can also get dry patches. So definitely a combo skin. What I love about this is that it does foam up. If I'm gonna use a face wash, I want it to feel like it's doing something, but also not stripping everything off of my skin, if that makes sense. I want my skin to still retain some moisture. This is also said to be really great at taking off makeup as well, but I just prefer a double cleanse. Okay, so now that my skin is nice and clean, I'm gonna go in with a razor to shave my face, or technically speaking, you can call it dermaplaning. So dermaplaning is a method of using a razor to remove dead skin and peach fuzz, and you can definitely go into an esthetician to get this done, which is where I fell in love with it. But as someone who doesn't regularly go in for facials, I wanted to do it at home, and they sell razors to do that. Now, I am not an esthetician. This is just a disclaimer. This is just showing you how I do it. So I use the Chic razors. They are for the brow and face, and it does come with a little protective cap these are definitely single-use razors. You don't want to use them more than once for hygienic purposes. You don't want to spread bacteria. You don't want to do anything like that. You want to use these one time and then dump them. I wish there was like a more environmentally friendly option, 
but it, when it comes to the face, you know, it is what it is. You gotta go for these. So this is what the razor looks like. Again, it probably looks very intimidating, but I assure you it's not scary. It's actually quite easy and again, very satisfying. So the thing with this is you want to make sure your skin is completely dry. That is how I do it. I don't apply like an oil or anything. You also want to hold your razor at a 45 degree angle. You're also going to want to work downwards and you're also going to want to hold your skin taut with your other hand. So one question that's often asked is does the hair grow back thicker? And it honestly does not come back thicker. It does not come back darker. It just grows as it normally does. You're just getting the hair off. Plus, you're also getting the dead skin off, allowing products to absorb better into the skin. And you'll feel the difference in your skin. It will feel so smooth and so clean and so fresh when you're done. It's honestly a game changer. I highly recommend it. Whether you go into an esthetician or you want to try it yourself, I think you're going to love it. So after I shave my face, I will go back in with a tiny bit more cleanser just to get everything clean and off my face. So now that I have dermaplaned, oh, my skin feels so nice and smooth. This would be the perfect time to go in with a serum or an oil or like a night cream, something that you really want to absorb into the skin. So what I like to use is this pure rosehip seed oil. It's cold pressed and organic. Cold pressed oils for the skin and cold pressed oils in general are better quality because you're not using high heat or chemicals to express the oil. So the reason I use rosehip oil is because it is very moisturizing, very hydrating. It's said to help reduce sun damage, reduce fine lines, give your skin that plumpness, which again is everything I'm looking for as I get older. Now that my serum is on my face and my skin is nice and slick, this is the perfect time to go in and gua sha. So gua sha is an ancient Chinese medicine and it's basically massaging your face to boost circulation and help with lymphatic drainage, which really just helps depuff the skin and also get rid of all the toxins, which can help you maintain clear skin. So this is my little gua sha stone. They have different shapes of these, so you can see which one looks good to you. I just picked this one out and I really like it. You're gonna wanna hold the stone at a 45 degree angle, just kind of like how you were doing with the razor. And you're gonna wanna work in upward motions because you're really trying to lift the face. And you will see that your face is gonna turn a little bit red, just like you would if you were getting like a nice massage, but the redness goes away fairly quickly. I focus everywhere except my forehead because I do have Botox in my forehead and I've read that it's best not to touch that area. Gua Sha is something that I try to do every night, but it's more like two to three times a week. So the final step to my nighttime skincare routine is eye cream. So this is the Probulin Probiotic Marula Eye Cream. My mom got me turned on to this and Marula Oil is great for keeping your skin moisturized, for helping with fine lines and just keeping everything nice and smooth and hydrated. So this has a nice little pump and you really don't need too much, just a little pump like that. When I'm putting my eye cream on, I'm very gentle around my eye area. I kind of like to press it in and then just gently kind of swoosh it upwards. When you're doing skincare, you really want to focus on dragging the products upwards because that's what you want your face to do. You want it to lift, not sag. So you just want to really focus on upward motion. So with my eye cream, I make sure to do that as well. So that is my nighttime skincare routine minus the dermaplaning. That is again only done like once every two weeks. But as far as everything else, that is what I do every night. And I honestly wish I would have taken better care of my skin when I was younger, like in college and even my early 20s, I didn't care that much. But now I definitely care. And it feels good to just really take care of myself and see improvements in my skin, even as I'm getting a bit older. So I hope you enjoyed today's Get Unready With Me and seeing all things skincare. Again, everything will be linked down below if you are interested in any of these products. But yeah, we are all done for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.